Hey, um, this is me, Ian. I'm watching a YouTuber who goes by the name of Kaikita. Uh, whatever, Kaikita Wave is talking about why I don't finish Mass. It's talking about how he, why he does not finish, um, why he doesn't finish Massive Open World Games. Um, and I'm just saying, I'm thinking about why I haven't really finished Minecraft. Um, because the truth is, I've been playing Minecraft since, what, 2012, 2011, since the, po since the Pocket Edition demo on my mom's um, old Android phone. And this is like back when I was a teenager. Uh, so this was, an, this was on an old, like really old Android phone. phone. This is before I even had an Android phone uh, because I couldn't be trusted with one. Mm. when I was a kid, but, um, I ended up getting a Kindle tablet, I can't remember what it was, a Kindle Fire or something, I can't remember, it was, it was just a tablet that I used to play Minecraft mainly, and it was, it was fun, you know, we, me and my sister would build stuff, you know, we, I would play with my sister, and I would play, mainly my younger, my younger sister, because, my older sister was in was on her mission um and like i would play with wendell and who's my youngest sister and then i'd play with my cousin polly you know i was fun and then i started to play by myself i created many many worlds and stuff then i got rid of my king cube and uh eventually noah my cousin i uh, Gave me a Xbox 360. I believe it's the It's not the original one, but it but it's also not the one that looks like an Xbox one It's the other one um, and I play Minecraft, uh, Minecraft 360 edition uh, to the point I must I almost um, overheated <laughs> I it almost died because I played too much Minecraft like that I'm not joking I played so much Minecraft um, then after that I got an Xbox one uh, and then there was an Xbox one edition of Minecraft um, and it was fun and then they released they released the pop the Bedrock edition, or the pocket edition, whatever you want to call it, the Mi the Minecraft version game, the ver the the phone ver the Android version of the game, which is the Minecraft Pocket Edition. At uh, that's what I that's what I know it as because that's what it used to be called. Uh, it they released it onto Xbox and Nintendo. So I, so when I, it's but like the Nintendo Switch, but so when I got the Nintendo Switch, I ended up getting Minecraft. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't get an, the Nintendo Switch edition, uh, but I got the Minecraft, the Pocket Edition that's on Minecraft, or the one that just called that. Uh, it's the same version, Minecraft Pocket Edition or Minecraft, the same game, uh, the same version. It just uh, it, whatever, it's convoluted names, but, um, then, about the beginning of this year, when I got my Steam Deck, I bought, actually, yeah, I bought the Java version, or the original version, the one that was released on PC, all the way back in 2011, uh, even though technically it was, it was released early in what 2010, uh, the, or like 2009, which I think it was called Cave, Cave Game or something. I can't remember, but I've been playing it from 2011 or 2012 all the way. No, I think it's 2011. I think it was 2012 is when I played it, all the way then to 2020. I've been playing it for almost an entire decade, and I don't know how many hours that is, 
No, I care because that's a lot of hours, and I can't count. I can't think of it and on the top of my head. So I've but twenty twenty one. Um, I got tired of playing Minecraft. The last time I played Minecraft was a couple days ago. Uh, I just played once, like one single th um, thing of Minecraft on my Xbox One. Not my Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox One. My Xbox Series X. Uh, stupid name, but that's what it's called. It's the refrigerator looking thing. It's a refrigerator Xbox, and that's what it looks like. But, um, and I just, now it's like I really could not, like, I cannot play Minecraft again. I literally physically can't play Minecraft again. I don't know, I don't know if it's my brain, like, not wanted to, or what, but I just can't play Minecraft. And another reason why I, I got so, uh, so, uh, another reason why I just don't want to play Minecraft is because all of my world has been corrupted on Minecraft. Every one of my worlds has been corrupted. And I end up deleting every one of my worlds. All my worlds I ever created, um, for... That I had since I was a teenager is gone, you know, and that's emotional. I really is emotional because, you know, it's so me and my family. So I didn't, I wasn't the greatest kid imaginable, you know, and I wasn't a really good kid, but we had good memories, you know. I one of the first world that I ever created was before the uh the big biome the world that changed the the update that changed the world update for minecraft um uh, on the what was it the 360 edition and that's one of my earliest maps uh one of my earliest worlds i ever had it started out as a survival map on a uh an old savanna biome. This is the not savanna biome. There was no savanna biome behind. Actually, it was an old um, swamp biome. Not the new one or the not this the savanna swamp or whatever it's called. But it, this is the original swamp biome, and I built. I built. Mm, a, tree house, not really a tree house, it's more like a house that's surrounded by a tree. No, it's more like a tree that's surrounded by a house, but yeah, I built a tree house. It was cool. And I eventually just created the world to, I turned the world into a creative world, ah, just because I kind of got tired of survival, and, and then I created a whole bunch of stuff. It was fun. Um... And well, all that is lost to time because it got corrupted. All of it got corrupted. Yep. Uh, including the no my one of my worlds called Noah, Ian, and Polly. I think that's what it's called. I was one of the worlds where I would play with Noah, like me and. Like, there's this time where Noah was hanging out with me. Um, we were playing some games. I know one of the games we were playing was GTA 5. Uh, funny game. Especially when you try to evade cops and you have five stars. You're like, la 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 la. <coughs> you die. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just after the fact that I lost all of my... Uh, my uh all of my worlds that i ever had on minecraft just got corrupted like like this all of it um i'm just you know i lost interest i just 
Honestly, I stopped playing for like several months because, you know, I just, I can't play anymore. I lost everything. Everything I created on that fucking game. And it's gone. All of it is gone. You know, I had to delete all of it because it wasn't usable and it was taking up space. I just don't have a word to say. I I don't. And I know people say, oh, you're just crying over a fucking video game. This is a video game that, that took a huge chunk of my life away. I've been playing this game since I was either a senior, not a senior, either a junior or a sophomore until I was, what, until about, about a couple of days ago when I decided to play Minecraft and I'm just like, I can't play this anymore. Um, it, it's just not fun. It's genuinely not fun. I can't fucking play it. And I can't recommend the game. I'm sorry. I can't because because the game took all my all my great save world saves that I had and corrupted them. Every one of my worlds that I ever had on that damn game is gone. I it's gone forever. I cannot get it back. I I, I just I, it, it's, it's gone. It's fucking gone. There's no effing point. So, you know what? I'm done playing Minecraft. I can't do it. Even if I wanted to, because, you know, I work so hard on so many of the worlds. It's remind, reminds me when I got my old Steam account stolen. So... Um, I had a, a Steam account that had a username, um, what was it, Dog, Doggy Level 324 just because, uh, why not, that was, like, a, that was, like, a whole bunch of passwords for other things, but, no, they're not passwords, but, the, I had them for other things, you know, but, I had, um, Dog Lover 324 was a username of my old Steam account. I had a bunch of games on it that I bought or I got for free and all that. And I was so like this close to get 1,000 games. Like that was my goal. And I know people say, well, that's a lot of games. Yeah, because that was my goal. My goal was to buy up to get up to 1,000 games. 1,000 games that I buy, that I have purchased, and that is still my goal, with my new account. Um, but, yeah, so somebody said, um, hey, something's wrong with your account, you, uh, vac ban or perma ban or whatever, I just panic. Um, I didn't know why I listened this time, but somehow I did. Uh, and I removed my Steam card thing, you know, the, the, the authenticator, I removed that and boom, he stole it. Stole all of it, you know, and it's all gone. But it, there's no point in saving it. I, even if I wanted to log in into that account, it doesn't exist. There is no doggy level three two four anymore. There is no Ian Gaming or whatever the username was. Um, it was none of that. It was all gone. Uh, then I eventually created a new Steam account because my my one got stolen, and um. I've been buying a few games here and there. Some of them are 
naughty. Uh, I say naughty in the sense that they are adulterated. But for the most part, it was great games. Um, I have a list of games that I've been using to buy, uh, to buy games. Um, just because, uh, and yeah, I created another account that I'm thinking of keeping for, the, for kids, uh, mainly because, you know, I want to have kids and, you know, why not allow my kids to love the same thing I love, you know, why not allow them to play video games? I won't allow them to play, uh, games that are, like, rated M, if they're little kids, but I'll allow them to play rated T, or rated, um, E, you know, those type of games. Um, the reason I allow my kids to play rated teen games, because I play rated T games and I, and they never really change me, you know. I love Tony Hawk Pro Skater Folk. I think it's stupid that there was rated T, but whatever, you know. But, yeah, I won't, I won't even let my kids play games that have microtransaction because, you know, I don't want my kids, and even if they do, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to have my debit card saved up to my, uh, I'm not going to have my, my bank card saved up to my, uh, my account, my, m the account for the kids, mainly because I don't want them to overspend, I don't want them to spend my money at all without my permission, uh, because, like, if they play Balloon 2D, not 2D, TD, which is Tower Defense, Balloon Tower Defense, uh, they, which is, which has my transaction, you know, and predatory mechanics, I don't want my kids to have to, no, I don't want my kids to do that. So, um, lastly, I want my kids to enjoy good games. Not crappy, AAA, garbage fest games with microtransaction and this and that and blah, blah, blah. No, I want my kids to play Good quality games. Stuff that I enjoy. Not the, not stuff the Call of Duty. Not that I don't like Call of Duty. I just don't want my kids to enjoy games with microtransactions. I want my kids to enjoy actual fun games that you can play. That has no predatory crap in it at all. No. No loot boxes, no online passes, no season passes, no, none of that. Just expansions and stuff like that. And that's what I want my kids to play. Because, you know, why not? That doesn't mean I want to allow them to play games with microtransaction, but I'm not going to allow them to buy any games on those, any stuff on those games, because I know full well that they will overspend it. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's just my rant. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing better. I just, it's sad to see all my worlds, everything I have created, is, it's gone. It's fucking gone, so. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.